Pisces Rising March 2024 shows that you are coming out of your shell as a new version of you, and it's a really, really important breakthrough month for you. If you're excited to get into what exactly we can expect for this March 2024 for your sign, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. And uh, I'm not naked. I, uh, I have a top on. It's just strapless. <laughs> So starting out the month, Venus in your 12th house is squaring Uranus in your 3rd house, showing that your mental health and your spirituality is going extremely well at the beginning of this month, but something to do with your routine or your tasks at hand is fucking that up. So this could be like, oh, my meditation and my yoga is going really well, but like I'm staying up really late and I'm working really hard and it's kind of fucking it up. Then on the 8th, Mercury is conjoining Neptune in your Pisces 1st house. Mercury and Neptune together is very spiritual, abstract, artistic communication. So I think that around the 8th, you are saying or doing something outward in the world that is received as artistic communication. On the 9th, there is then a Pisces new moon. So a new moon in your first house is a big new beginning for you. This new moon is conjunct Venus, which is lovely, and Saturn, which is serious. So a lovely but serious new version of you is coming out in the first week of this month and you are like setting it into stone and really, really uh, dedicating yourself to it. From the 9th to the 10th, Mars in your Aquarius 12th house is squaring Uranus in your 3rd house. This is further showing that all the effort you're putting towards spirituality and your mental health is at odds with you working and being productive in some ways. Then on the 11th, Venus enters your Pisces 1st house. Venus in the first house is lovely for you attracting what you want. You're getting what you want. You're coming across more attractive and more of that is coming in. Then on the 16th to the 18th, the sun will conjoin Neptune in your first house. This is the kind of energy that is very spiritual and you're receiving information. You're having a download or just an experience that is spiritually enlightening for you. And it's about you and your experience or your identity. Then on the 19th, the sun will enter your Aries second house. So the last half of this month, last third, with the sun in your second house of money shows that there's a more of a financial focus of you thinking about making money. And then on the 21st to the 22nd, Venus is conjoining Saturn in your first house. This shows that you're having something positive but serious happen to you. Like you are signing something about your identity or your appearance, or you are deciding something about your identity and your appearance. Something great and likely physical is happening, but it's serious. And on the 22nd, Mars enters your first house, which is like bad bitch dedicated energy. You are looking to something and you're doing it. And on the 25th, we end the month with a lunar eclipse in your Libra 8th house. This is a very large letting go of a financial chapter for you. It is the beginning of the end of selling or getting rid of something that is savings and investment or an asset and is not your day-to-day -day income, but you are releasing it and beginning to let that go. If you already have a feeling and some things that you are prepared for to come this month, let me know in a comment down below. I'm really interested to hear what is happening for you. The tarot card here that we have for Pisces Rising this March is the Four of Swords. So this usually shows that uh, you are getting worried and you're preparing for a challenge. So maybe there is something coming up for you that is related to your identity and what you are coming out as, so to speak, where you are like preparing for the seriousness of what you're about to declare about yourself. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe and do leave me a comment down below how you're feeling about this March. Enjoy your month ahead and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Oh.